Okay, now right here we have this figure here is a trapezoid. Now a trapezoid actually has its own formula. And that formula is, I'll just tell you, but don't let me be confused by it, but that, air, that formula for a trapezoid is one half the height times base one plus base two. So it's the sum of base one and base two right here, which is 20, times one half the height, okay? which is three, that would be one and a half, okay? But we're gonna do it instead, instead of using that formula, which we'll talk more about when we, get back to, when we get back to school, but we're going to decompose this into a triangle here, and we're gonna draw a line, the same place this line is here, just imagine if there was a line coming down right here. That means you would have a triangle here, a triangle here, and you would have a rectangle here in the middle, okay? All right, now we're going to decompose this by adding up the area of this triangle, then this triangle, and then this rectangle. Okay, how we do that? Okay, well, first of all, we have to take this 6 here, all right, and subtract it from this 14. That will be taking out this part, okay? And then that will leave us this, and it will leave us this, okay. Well, anyway, 14 minus six is equal to eight. So out of eight, if I say that this is equal to this, that means then the height of this triangle here is four. And since it's equal over here, the height over here is gonna be four. Okay, so that means you got four, plus six, okay, which is 10, plus four, which is 14. That's the whole base from here to here is 14. Four, six, four. Okay, so now we can get the area of this triangle. And we only have to get the area of this triangle. Why? Because we know that this triangle is equal to that triangle. So once we get this one, we'll automatically have that one, okay? So this is three, this is the base. This is four, that's the height. And we know that the area, or that the, the formula for area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. Well, if the base is three and the height is four, three times four, is 12. Stop, Prince. Three times four is 12. And half of 12 is six. So that means this is six. That means over here, this is six. Six plus six is 12. Okay? Now we have to get the rectangle here. That's what's left. Okay, we know the rectangle is three, right here, three times six. So what is three times six? Three times six, that is, that is length times width. That's the area of a triangle. Three times six is 18. So we have 18 plus six is 24 plus another six over here, which is 30. The answer here, the area of this trapezoid is 30 meters squared. If you got that, give yourselves a hand. Okay. Now let's go down here and look at number three. Okay. My opinion, number three is even easier. Okay. What we have here, we have two rectangles and one triangle. Okay. So let's, let's get the, the easy ones first. Let's get the rectangles first because we know the area or the formula for area of a rectangle is length times width. Okay, right here you have nine. It shows you very clearly this is nine, right? Okay, now we got to know the length here. 
It doesn't give us the length over here, but guess what? It gives us this length here. That's nine, okay? And then it gives us this length here. That's nine. So nine and nine is 18. So that would be 18 times nine in centimeters. What is 18 times nine? Okay, well, since I'm talking to you, I don't have the paper down, but I can tell you 18 times 10 is 180. We know, just on base 10. Well, then 18 times 9, that's going to give me 18 less than 180, which would be 162. So this here is 162. I guess I'm write that down, 162. One sixty-two. That's going to be this area here. Now let's get this area here. Okay, we see right here that the width here is nine. We see it there. And what is this? What is that? Well, it's not twenty-seven because twenty-seven goes all the way over here. But guess what? We got nine down here. So why don't we just take this away? Why don't we subtract this? Subtract this nine from the twenty-seven. Since the whole thing is 27, if I subtract that 9, what do I have left here? 27 minus 9 is what? It's 18. So it's 18 times 9. Well, we did that one time, right? So we don't have to do it again. That's going to be 162 again. So even though 1 is turned long ways, and one is turned one is turned vertically and one is turned horizontally they both are the same size and have the same area so we can just add 162 and 162 okay but now what do we have left what we have left is right here the triangle now the area of a triangle is found out by remember one half the height times the base or base time height, same thing, divided by two. Remember, multiplying by one half is the same thing as dividing by two. If I take 10 and multiply it times one half, it's going to give me half of 10, which is five. Or I can take 10 and divide it by 2, and I still got 5. So it's the same thing. Both of these formulas will work in finding the area of this triangle. Okay, well, let's find it out. What's the base time to heights? Well, the base is 9. There's the base. Very simple, right there in front of you. And the height is also what? It's not 9, is it? No, of course not. Remember, we did this, right? We did this. Remember what this was? This was 9 times 18. So evidently, if this here serves as the length of the rectangle, and it was 18, well, it also is adjacent to the height of the triangle, which is the same thing. Adjacent means like two states, like Georgia and Florida, like the Georgia-Florida line, Those that, that border that state line, Georgia and Florida, they are adjacent. They are, they are to right together. Okay, that's what that means. Just like this line here. Say for instance, this is Georgia and that's Florida. This right here, these here, they are joined together. They are, they are adjacent. That's 18 for the length of the rectangle, but it's also 18 for the height of the triangle. Okay, so let's see if we can figure that out now. 18, okay, times 9. There's a, there's a, there it is again. 18 times 9. 18 times 9 again. What is 18 times 9? We've done that. We've done that, haven't we? 18 times 9? Of course we have. Well, 18 times 9 is again 162. So what this problem is, we multiply 18 times 9 to get the area here. We multiply 18 times 9 and got the area there. 
which is 162, 162. So this is 18 times 9. So does that mean that's 162? Of course not, because we left out one important step, one important final step. What did we have to do? Of course, we have to multiply that times one half, okay, times one half. So I can multiply that times 0.5. Or guess what I can do? I can divide that by two. I can do either or, okay? So that would be multiplying it times one half, which is the same thing as dividing it by two. I'm gonna get the same number. Remember, like I told you with, with dividing five into 10, okay? That's gonna give me the same thing. Well, for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead on, and in my head, don't you do it, but in my head, I'm gonna tell you, half of 162 is 81. So now I've got 162, 162, and 81. And what am I gonna do now? Of course, you know what? You know what time it is. I'm gonna add them. This is 162. The area here is 162. And this right here is 81 because we had to multiply that times one half. Well, let's do the let's do the math. Let's do the addition. Okay, two and two and one is five. Six and six is 12 plus eight is 20. Carry the two. Two plus one and one is four. Okay, there we go. So this here is 405 centimeters, you know it, it's area, centimeters squared. Okay, so in closing, the answer to this, what did I say it was? That was six, that was six, and then that was 18. This is 30 meters squared. Number one, 30 meters squared. Number three is 405 centimeters squared. Remember, number one, 30 meters squared. Number three, 405 centimeters squared. Thank you so much for your participation, your engagement, and it's going to pay off for you. Continue to work hard. Don't look at this as a time off, but a time on. Those people, they get frustrated with noise and with talking, with disruptions. You don't have it now. Take advantage of it and continue to keep working. Appreciate y'all. Y'all be good. Love y'all.